Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I am in Niles, Michigan. I am at Picker's Paradise, and I was told about this place at the last place I was in Elkhart, Indiana, if you're following along with me. Uh, so thank you, Amanda, for the recommendation. Uh, let's see what we find. Wish me luck. All right, off, off to a good start here. We've got a little Italian dancer, but at $100, I will leave her. And we have a case with some glass of assorted sizes and colors, some swung vases, some decanters, some Fenton, some imports. Here's another couple pieces of older Fenton from what it looks like. Nice kind of like Rosaline satin. Yeah, at that price I'll leave it, but it is pretty well made I just caught a glimpse of this is this a bangle or a CD <laughs> that thing is thick and weird it's pretty cool oh look at this little cat statue I've got one like that in my living room but larger and that paper paperweight's kind of nice look at this canister set this is awesome the colors are great it's only 45 bucks. I don't want to ship it, so I'm going to leave it, but it's awesome. And in this case, we've got a little flock of birds of different colors. I like that split tail bird. That's fun. All right, so this piece is so cool. I have to take a closer look. It's like an old pharmaceutical piece or something. And the brain liquid is like separate. Yeah, I'm picking this piece up for sure. I love that thing. It's so weird. Let's see if we can find anything in these cubbies over here. Kind of like that dish. I think it's a set though. Uh, what else do we see over here? Oh, these pineapples are kind of cool. Left in. The flowers are all uh, in really good shape. It looks like, like none are broken off, so. I don't know, I mean, it's not really my style, but I just think they're cool looking. And what do we got in this case? A little piece of Italian glass. Light blue and white latticino. It's kind of cool. I'll probably leave it though. Well, we've got some Fenton in this case and some Czech glass. Some more Fenton. More Czech glass. Maybe a piece of Blanco. All right, I need a better look at this. Yeah, that thing is awesome. I need a price. All right, let's see what the price tag on this little piece of glass is. It looks really expensive. Libby's World Fair. 1898. Yep, that's old. Yeah, finally got this out of the case and inspecting it closer. It is really, really cool. Um, what's that say on the tag? Small house? Hmm. Oh, look at this little Lalique blowfish. I've seen these in a couple different colors, but I've never seen it in this like amber color. Kind of orange. It's cool. So well done. This is one of the more intricate paintings that I've seen on handmade paper. I have one of these uh, in my home and it's really well done, but not quite as intricate as that one. That one's really nice. I love the color on it. This booth is definitely boho and fun. Lots to look at. So I know what you're thinking. You're like, he's going to pick up that mayfly. Well, I like it a lot, but that stingray is super cool. I wish it wasn't missing an eye. If it was complete, I would definitely buy that. I cannot believe I just walked by this. That is so awesome. I've found a couple we weasels on the last month, and this one's only eight bucks. It says as is. I don't see any damage. Maybe it's repaired somewhere really well, but... 
Oh man, I'm stoked. I'm taking this one home. Hmm. What's in this bag down here? Oh, a bunch of animals. This case has some unique items. All kind of older, antique -y. Very eclectic mix in there. And this Bakelite brooch is pretty neat. This little bow tie. And another kind of like a primitive antique style booth that I don't usually gravitate towards, but there's some things that caught my eye. This ring toss box is really cool. And then there's like a box of random mixed ephemera here. There's a bag here for like 30 bucks. It has like almost a hundred photos in it. And they all look pretty old. I want to dig through here and see if there's any uh, interesting ones. I had someone recently ask for ephemera with guys with mustaches. Uh, there's a guy with a mustache. There's another guy with a mustache. I don't know, is that the kind of stuff you're looking for? There's some right here. All right, and amongst all this uh, kind of contemporary stuff, I did see maybe what looks like a couple vintage pieces. Uh, this off-white clamper for six bucks. And this carved what looks like just to be old acrylic or lucite for eight bucks. Uh-oh. Well, Niles, Michigan didn't disappoint. Looks like I'm going to have to spend some money in this booth. Let's see what kind of pricing we're working with here. 25 bucks. Yeah, I think for that, I'll take it. It's a nice color. And what else? What other kind of pricing we got? I know it's missing the stopper, but just for fun, let's see. Dang, man, that really makes me want to try to find a stopper, huh? <laughs> that case turquoise is really nice. And let's see what the, uh, this is a wheat, wheat color, maybe. I don't think it's light enough to be Jonquil. What's that say? Yeah, that's not too bad either. Okay. Doing good so far. Oh, there's lots of good stuff in that case. Gonna have to spend some time in this booth. You look kind of strange. Oh, for 10 bucks, yeah. I like you. I like how it's bulbous. Hmm. Can't see what the pattern on that is. Is this crackle decanter a Bischoff piece? All right, and let's see what we got here. Okay. Got some crackle glass down here that I want to get a little closer look at. Some lemon yellow glass down there too. Lots of decanters over here, jeez. Lots of rainbow glass. Uh-oh, thistle. Yeah, lots of goodies. That crackled glass back there is beautiful too. I think that's wheat. What is this strange vase? It has a pink paper Viking sticker on it and it's cheap. It's like a weird crackled glass, kind of smoky color. Never seen a vase like that. I'm just giving you another shot of the case before I start pulling some things out. Um, some really nice swung vases up here, just a little bit higher than what I think I can do anything with, but very nice. Oh, look at this piece. I love these goblets. The color on this is perfect, and it's a great price, too. The optic is great. Jeez. There was a day where I would have been so stoked to find this. I'm just so over moon and stars, but... It's 
a great dish for 16 bucks. Okay, kind of like some old school vibes in here. I love it. And this cat is super funky and geometric and angular. 49 bucks, that ain't bad. Not for a cat that size. Ooh, cobra. Ooh, check out this bull. 20 bucks. That's not bad. It's pretty. What else we got back here? Yeah. How about this egg? Who are you by? Can't really tell. How about this guy though? That's pretty heavy. It's got a stamp. What do you say? Oh, St. Clair. Eh, that's not a bad price. I think I might try that one out. And it looks like we have like a little pocket of taxidermy in here. Got a couple cool things. I've, I really want a cobra that's well made. A couple that I've seen recently are just kind of beat up beyond what I want. All right, let's see what these uh, big old chunks of glass have to have to say. What does that say? Some kind of sticker. Large floral paperweight. Small floral paperweight. Okay, that's descriptive. I mean, they're not wrong. Lucite flower, fifty-eight. Yep, that's a good one. And we got a couple more swung vases in that case. Nothing I don't think I'm going to take home with me, though. That's interesting. Oh, look at this piece. I think I'm going to get this for my cat room. That's super fun. Love the colors. Looks like there's a couple nice paperweights down here I might have to look at. Blanco and Murano. What are you? Are you marked? Not that I can see. What else do we have over here? Yeah, you're good. Too good for me. Oh, hello. I'll take a look at you, too. You're pretty cool. I think I'm going to pick you up. All right. Let's see if this is going to be in our price range. It's beautifully made. Yeah, it's hard for me to see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that out. I think it's a little high, though. All right. Let's check out this... Uh, Italian glass back here. Let's see if this is actually Murano. That Christmas tree looks pretty good. Yeah, so tags say 100 bucks. Yeah, I won't be picking it up, but it is pretty cool. So, I think I'd rather pick up this lamp. Jeez, I just bought a lamp though. I don't need another lamp. Oh, for that price, I gotta take it. Jesus. Let's take a look at this glass over here. Looks like there's some promising little sections that might have and unfurl something good. You're interesting. I like your shape. Yeah, for that price, I'll leave it though. Even with 20% off. Smoky color. Cool little crackle glass piece here. Looks like it might have a little bit of water damage. You're fun. Oh, I like you a lot. I like that color. What's up with this swirl neck over here?
and I'll pass on it. I'm not finding anything yet that I'm super stoked on. That's kind of a neat shape right there. What's over in this case? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's something I want to grab, depending on price. Yeah, I think I have the match. All right, we got another uh, booth with some random glass. Not mad at that. Now let's take a look at what's up with this citrusy piece up here. It's got a nice optic. I'm not sure if this is Italian or not, or what it is, but it's nice. And got a little bit more glass, got a demijohn. Oh, look at this uh, smoky, twisted decanter. It's Genie Bottle 140. Interesting. It's not a bad price at all. Hmm. And let's see what the price on this guy is. I think I'm going to pick him up. Yeah, I'm going to pick this guy up for my owl sale next time I do one. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the next leg of the tour.